hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel to encourage what we're doing and do give a thumbs up to our, vid our video as much as you can right so uh, this is a continuation of this particular video if you have not seen this you would also see a link to this one in the description below now here we were able to see how to differentiate implicitly following you know um, a particular method where you differentiate with respect to x and then or with respect to y and then make the y dx the subject of the formula mean uh, however i said that there is also another method which we can use to solve this same problem and it will be faster and will be easier and there i said that if you are given a function let's bring down that one we are given we are given that x squared plus y squared okay and we are asked to find dy dx okay so how do you handle this now i and i said here that this is um a very simple method to deal with this is to state that our dy dx is equal to minus fx all over fy so then the question is what is fx now fx is simply put the partial derivative of f with respect to x while your fy is the partial derivative of f with respect to y now the next question then is what is our f so your f is simply the function you will get when you take everything that is given here to the left hand side so if i pick everything here to the left hand side i will have it to be equal to zero so i'll just take away the zero and so immediately my f which you can write as f of x y of course because it's a function of x and y will now be equal to x squared plus y squared minus 16 sorry minus 6x minus 8y now 16 coming over here becomes minus 16 of course you know all of this will be equal to zero so just keep the zero away and so the whole of this gives you your f so to get your fx which is a the partial derivative of f with respect to x in that case remember when you're dealing with partial derivative with respect to a particular variable any other variable becomes a constant okay so now um so what we're going to do now is to get our fx get our fy substitute into this formula so it makes the whole work very easy now let's quickly look at that so what it means is that meanwhile let's get our fx first so what will be my fx my fx is to differentiate this with respect to x and if i do that i will get 2x and if i differentiate y squared it will be zero if i differentiate minus 6x i will get only minus 6 if I differentiate minus 8y, I will get 0. If I differentiate 16, I will also get 0. All right. So then what about, this is my fx now. So what about fy? Differentiating with respect to y. If I differentiate x squared, I will get 0. If I differentiate y squared, I will get 2y. If I differentiate 6x, I will get 0. If I differentiate minus 8y, I will get minus 8. So with this quickly, I've gotten my fx and my fy. So if I then substitute into the formula I gave earlier, that is this one. So that is going to quickly give me minus of my fx, which is 2x minus 6, all over my fy which is 2y minus 8 and we can immediately get that this is the same as of course if you open this bracket minus multiplying that your 6 will become positive and this other 2x will become negative and that is over 2y minus 8 and immediately you can see we have gotten the same thing we got here when we did the initial differentiation that's this okay so you know it takes away the whole of this stress of doing all of that so let's quickly now complete what we have so immediately if you now factorize your two here you will have two into three 
minus x all over 2 into y minus 4. So this takes away this and gives you our 3 minus x all over y minus 4. So you see that this approach makes the work very easy and faster. So it, it shortens, you know, the stress that you can get doing uh, implicit differentiation. Maybe we'll take one more example to further buttress this fact. Okay, especially maybe the one that is a product of X and Y. You know, if it is a product of X and Y, you would have to apply product rule. But this method will save you that stress. So let's quickly look at this example. Let me just bring this one. X squared minus Y squared minus, let's say, 3XY is equal to 0. Let's keep this one equal to 0 already. Okay. Now, what are we going to do here? So since this is already equal to 0, it means that our F is equal to X squared plus Y squared minus 3XY. Okay, like I said, originally we should have used product rule here. So that this method is going to save us that stress. Remember that our dy, the x, is equal to, so now what is our f with x? If we differentiate this with respect to x, we are going to have 2x, the y squared will become 0. And in this case, remember that it is a product of 3xy. So you are just going to differentiate 3x and then whatever you get, you just attach the y to it. The same way if you have something like 2x, you just differentiate x and you get 1. Use that 1 and multiply 2. That will give you 2 usually. So that's also what we will do here. So if we differentiate 3x, we'll get 3. So just attach your x to it. And so you have minus, sorry, your y to it. So you have minus 3y. And that is over. Now here in the denominator, we differentiate our f with respect to y. x squared becomes 0 while y squared will become 2y. Now, if we differentiate this with respect to y, that means we will keep 3x silent and only differentiate y. And if we differentiate y, we'll get 1. 1 multiplying 3x will just give us 3x, okay? So you see, just this helps you do this differentiation only in one line, and you have your answer. So here, we open that bracket, and when minus multiplies, your 3x will become positive. Sorry, your 3y becomes positive. Your 2x will become negative. And so you have all over 2y minus 3x. <clears throat> I'm going to allow you to do this same differentiation using the first method I used where I had to differentiate all with respect to x and then make the y the x the subject of the formula. However, this is where we end it for this video. This gives you a very easy approach, especially when you have function of function. For instance, let me look at this. If you have something like exponent of x plus y to be equal to, let's say, equal to, let's say, x, y. So what do you do here? You remember your formula. You are still going to use that. So let's first of all make our f to be e x plus y minus xy equal to zero. Sorry, we remove the zero now, okay? So this is going to give us that our fx will be equal to, remember you are differentiating with respect to x partially. So if I differentiate this e, I'm going to get ex plus y, and then I'll multiply by the derivative of what you have inside with respect to x now. Now, if I differentiate with respect to x, I will get one. Then if I differentiate y, I will get zero. So you are done. Then come over here. If you differentiate this with respect to x, you get only y. So my fx is e raised to the power of x plus y, then minus y. So while my fy is going to be uh, the same thing, e raised to the power of x plus y. Now, in this case, you differentiate this inner part with respect to y, which if you do, you will still get 1 because the derivative of x will be 0 and the derivative of y will be 1. Then minus, if I differentiate x, y with respect to y, I will get x. And so this is going to give me e to the power of x plus y, then minus x. So in other words, 
the dy dx for that particular function is simply equal to my minus f of x all over f with y. And this is equal to minus of e to the power of x plus y, then minus y all over e to the power of x plus y, then minus x. And of course, if we open our bracket, we will get y positive and the exponent will be negative. So I will have this all over the denominator remains the same, okay, and minus x. So the beauty of this is that it helps you see this solution faster, you know, easier, and then um, everything is more beautiful. All right, so like I said earlier, this is what we said to bring to us in this video. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are seeing our channel for the first time and do give a thumbs up to our video. Play with your friends and your colleagues. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.